Okay, so it seems like the machine's working, but it's not coming on or it's not heating. Could be one leg or two points out. This one here, we got we can follow the line. It goes right here to this box. And we can pull that panel off and make sure there's 220 coming out of those each of those dryer uh, sockets. You got heavy duty gloves, you might want to wear them. Um, and so basically, what we want to do is make sure we got 220 coming out of that socket. Or make sure we have 220. Now this thing is unplugged. And make sure you got 220 across these two far legs here. If you got 110 and 110 here on these both sides 110 and 110 it's not going to really matter you have to make sure you have 220 across these two far leads and if we look at that socket that socket looks a little fatigued and if we look at this plug here you can see how that plug is basically kind of toasted i'm going to try and sand that a little bit rough it up see if we can get a better connection it's similar on this one here um that's probably going to be the heat element side basically it's very similar to uh, 110 here will run the motor and 110 here will run the heat element but you have to have 220 across these two here otherwise it may not heat and so this one you can see as well you can see how that is burnt it's in there pretty tight but that socket should be replaced and this one, this one's unplugged, so it's not going to come on. That's a couple of things you might want to check. And then this one also has an external 220 uh, breaker. This breaker is right here. This was this was actually tripped when I first came out here. So you want to make sure all the connections are good behind this box as well. This video is for informational purposes only, for entertainment only, consult your local professional. Um, I also give phone advice for $25, if you're interested you can contact me, 707-443-8347 or 707-599-4489. Now this one, let's look at the vents, the vents look pretty good, they're not kinked. This one here. I actually pulled it out so that's 50% kink and that would cause a problem you can see they had a vent going through this wall uh, in a roundabout way went around and out that way so they redesigned it and so yeah that's what the problem is with these and he said that he was having a little problem with these here uh, that when one was turned on the light would blink or something like that probably caused because of the uh, only one can line coming out of there or a loose connection okay so a lot of times what will happen instead of corroding at the on the socket it will corrode inside here if it's loose at all and so here we're going to check for 220 <clears throat> see so when we get the pro set your meter to 700 don't try this at home and then we're gonna go across the two far leads these two far leads here right there and we look we've got 220 there now okay so this dryer should work now <coughs> but it should actually have a new socket <coughs> and for some reason you can see that orange color on that plug I have no idea why but that that was painted the whole damn thing in the front of that was painted it had paint on the front of the prong <coughs> and so anyway thanks for watching and we'll see you next time